All right, this is section 1.5, and this is another example I'm going to look at here. It says here in the diagram with the right angle HKI is 48 degrees. Find each of the following. Okay, so when they give you a diagram like this, um, and they, you know, they're going to maybe give you one or two angles, and then they're going to ask you to find everything else. Here's a couple of suggestions. Fill in as much as you possibly can from what you know. Okay, for example, I know right now that this is a 90 degree angle, angle KHG, or excuse me, HKG. I know that's 90. They told you HKI is 48. Well, I'm going to go ahead and just write the 90 in here. If I know that that's 90 and this guy is 48, well, I know that that straight line means that those three, these three angles have to add up to be 180 degrees. Okay, so if I know that, well then wait a second, I could be able to figure that. If I take 90 and add 48 to it, that's 138 degrees. And if I take 180 minus the 138, that's going to give me 42. That tells me that this angle right here is 42 degrees. Okay. So all I'm doing by a process of elimination here is using my angle pairs to figure out angle measures. And when I get everything figured out in the picture, then I'll start going through and filling in uh, my answers down here. Okay, but I, I, in my personal opinion, I think it's best to fill in as, all you can up here and then fill them in. It's a little easier, I think, that way to see it. Now, one of the things that you'll notice, didn't give us anything else. I know that from J to K to G, I know that this whole thing right here is 180. Is there a way I can figure out one of these others? Well, you know what? If I look at this angle right here, K, F, K, G, and I'm going to outline this in yellow, FKG right there, like so, right? Well, if I take angle IKJ, wait, what do you notice about those two? They happen to form opposite rays, which means they're vertical. And what you'll find out here is that vertical angles, if that's 42, then this guy over here also has to be 42 degrees. Okay, so we haven't went through the vertical angles theorem yet, but you know, you can kind of uh, look at that and figure out, oh, hey, those angle measures look exactly the same. Okay, so those are 42. Well, wait, if this guy's 42, if I take 180 and subtract 42 from that, because I know that the, this pair, this pair of angles, these two up here, have to add it to be 180. Well, then when I do that, I get 138 degrees. So I know that this angle is 138 degrees. Okay, so now I can go through and get rid of this yellow and blue without erasing. There we go. Perfect. Okay, so now that I have these angles filled in, I can go ahead and just answer through here. Angle HKJ. H to K to J. HKJ. We're going to be using a little bit of the angle addition postulate here. HKJ, I'm going to take that these two angles and add them together. That's 42 and 48. Well, that happens to be 90 degrees. Okay, 42 plus 48. Angle FKJ, or excuse me, yeah, FKJ. How much is that angle? Well, that angle is 138 degrees. Uh, excuse me, yeah, FKJ, I put that in the wrong spot. Whoops, okay, so let's create this mistake. FKJ goes down here. All sorts of screwed up right now. And let's see here. See, I told you, even teachers make mistakes. That guy's 138 degrees. And let's go back, let's look at FKG. FKG, well, that's 42 degrees. Make sure we write that down right. There we go. <clears throat> IKJ, you follow IKJ, well, IKJ, that's 42 degrees, okay? FKH, all right, let's point this one out, FKH, okay, so that's these two angles together. If I add 90 and 42, that's 132 degrees, 
okay? And then GKI, angle GK, G to K to I. All right, so that's 90 and 48 together. That's going to be 138 degrees. 90 and 42. And FKH was 90 and, or excuse me, nine. man, see, I told you guys. Making all sorts of mistakes. All right, 90 and 48 for down here. That's 90 and 42 for that one, okay? So if they give you a picture like this, make sure, I do the best you can to fill in as many angles as possible, okay? And then it'll be much easier to identify all kinds of angles. Now remember, you're gonna have to use some angle addition postulate in here. You might have to add a couple, two, three angles together to find your totals.